What's happening YouTube? Thanks for stopping back into the channel today and that's right we've got some more Duramax content coming back your way and for you guys who have been following in on the build recently you know that we uh, recently finished up the engine work but we still are falling short on the tuning end of it and really seeing what this thing to, can do and today is the day where you guys are going to figure that one out. We are right here at Days Diesel in Germantown, Ohio. He is one of the top of the line programmers and tuners here in the area he's going to be doing a custom tune for us today and we're going to be putting it on the dyno for you guys to see exactly what it can do make sure you guys keep watching Alright guys, we got all the tunes put into the truck. Luke hooked us up on that one. We took a little bit of time getting everything dialed in. So we're getting it put, hooked up here to the dyno. Mustang dyno. Uh, he said, you know, this thing might be a little bit on the tight side, so they, we're gonna see what kind of numbers we come out with. Uh, he said, what was it, 550? 550 was his guess. We're gonna see how close he is to the number on that one. I'm guessing a little bit higher. We're gonna guess 570. Just to say I'm a little bit different and I'm a little a bit optimistic too. So let's go check out what's going on getting this thing hooked up.
Alright, so we got the LBZ here in the shop. This is Luke. He is the owner operator here at Days Performance Diesel here in Germantown, Ohio. Uh, how long have you been doing this here in the business? Uh, we started this company in 09. So, been here since 09, been working on diesels my whole life, but started this company here in 09. So, uh, yeah, now, now you guys, I know you guys work on all kinds of diesel, but you guys are specifically in the market for the Duramaxes, right? Correct. Duramax is our specialty. Um, that's pretty much what we do day in and day out. Um, we do some with the Ford, some with the Dodges, but not nothing near to the caliber we do with the Duramaxes. So, we do pretty much everything bumper to bumper on the Duramaxes. Now, I know we were talking earlier. I know he, he does a lot of stuff encompassing from tuning all the way to trans. You're even in uh, in cahoots with Dimitri. Correct. Yep. Dimitri Dimitri's is a very good friend of mine. Um, we, we've been working together for five or six years now. Uh, Dimitri does build all of our trainings here. So uh, if anybody ever needs an Allison trans taken care of, uh, he's pretty much the man to build it. Um, we do a bunch of them. Uh, help him out with his truck as well too when he needs it, but uh, yeah, we do, do quite a bit with him. Oh yeah. Now when we're talking uh, the truck that we've got in here today, uh, the LBZ, we're doing the full tune to it today. Uh, we're going to be going in, I had had a kind of a preliminary tune in it before from the other shop. Uh, it really wasn't liking what we were doing with the setup we had for it. Uh, can you explain what we had going on with the injectors and the turbo that we had, how that coincides with the tune you're putting in it? Correct. Um, so initially your problem was a lot of injection rattle, um, a lot of excessive smoke down low. Uh, that was due to a lot of vent position tuning, um, also a lot of timing, a lot of fuel delivery. Um, it just needed to be dialed in. Uh, I mean those are 60 over injectors so they're not massive but uh, they do require some finesse. So a lot of guys will put 60 overs, 80 overs, 100 overs in a truck and think it doesn't need tuned. That's completely <laughs> false. Uh, they do need to be dialed in and tuned. Uh, particularly when you're running it with a large VGT charger, um, all that has to be dialed in as well too. So um, like I said, with just the tuning on the fuel, the timing, uh, the van position on the turbo, and uh, like I said, I think we found a pretty happy spot with that turbo now. Uh, lights up good. Uh, I think we hit like 605, something like that on the mm -hmm. dyno. So uh, respectable for 37-inch uh, mud tires on the truck. Um, I mean, like Boy, I said. Boy, those things were getting hot there. Yeah, the correct. Uh, <laughs> Sticky boys. Yeah, I know we... We could be doing better with smaller tires. You said with the air, if we took the filter in the end we yep. could get some more air yep. flow. There's, a, there's all kinds of little tweaks and stuff you can do, but I mean, like I said, that's respectable where it's at. I mean, it's a daily driven truck. It's not like we're trying to run quarter mile drag passes with it right now. Uh, obviously, it's hard to do with a seven inch lifted truck at 37. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, where it is now, you can drive it every day, drive it to California, tow your boat, tow your camper, do whatever you need to do with it, and uh, it should it should live a long life right there. Now, the other thing that I did learn today, too, was I know I put uh, one of the Edge CTS2 monitors in the truck as well. Now, uh, a couple of the other guys, like JW Montoya, he was saying that, you know, you can do your selections of your tunes through that. Now, that is true for some uh, certain circumstances, but not for the LBZs and newer, correct? Correct, yep. Now, they, they run, yeah, you can select map tunes in those, but once you get past the LLYs into the LBZs, they run a different kind of CAN bus for the tune, so you really have to run a DSP5 switch for that. Correct, in order to be able to select it, yes. That's that's something yep. I had no clue. Maybe you guys didn't know that either, but so we had to put one of those in there. So now we've got five positions of fun. You know, everything from stock tow all the way up to let's blow something up today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's sir. what we had. We had a lot of fun on the dyno today. This has been an awesome experience. This was actually one of the first diesels and trucks I've ever seen on a dyno myself. So I appreciate being able to come in for that one. I know if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. If you got any more questions for Luke or anything, yeah, I'd be happy to pass them along. Uh, Luke's shop is here in Germantown, Ohio, which is really close to Dayton, Ohio. So for you guys who are in the area, he does an all-encompassing shop here. He does everything from trans, full motor builds, rear end, suspension, anything, tuning, delete, you know, whatever you guys can think of, he does here. So if that's something that you guys are in the market for, make sure you guys hit him up. I will put everything in the description down below as well for his uh, service and his shop here in Ohio. So I would definitely give him a big thumbs up for the stuff that he does here. I appreciate it, Luke. Yep, everything no you've done today. Uh, that's about all we've got for you today, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Well, we really like this diesel content that we've had going on. A little bit more fun than the tools, I per se. But I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And as always, you guys stay awesome. <laughs>